I bow to God. I bow to all the divine incarnations, saints and sages, prophets. I bow to all the masters of all times and all places. I bow to the entire creation. And I bow to all of you. Good evening. Yesterday, when I was walking, a thought came to me, what is peace? We all are talking of peace, 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 peace. But what is this peace? If I put the thought into few words, to me, absence of restlessness, prevalence of calmness, and manifestation of love is peace. Absence of hatred, jealousy, and prevalence of mutual understanding and manifestation of helping and caring each other is peace. Absence of conflict, contradictions, and chaos. Prevalence of cooperation and manifestation of progress is peace. Absence of restlessness of the day, prevalence of serenity beauty of dream and manifestation of deep sleep every day that we experience is peace. If I go on telling like peace, 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 then I was thinking, what does this word really mean in Sanskrit? When I tell Sanskrit, it is to me a subject of agreement or contradiction, doesn't matter. The most ancient and still living language. In Sanskrit, the word peace is Shanti. <coughs> what is the definition of Shanti in Sanskrit or peace? It is said, freedom from turbulence of mind and play of dynamic mind with love, oneness, is peace. Sama, mano nigraha sama. A simple question, is my mind peaceful or restless? Is my mind agitated or in tranquility? Is my mind filled with jealousy, anger, hatred, or with love, joy, and beauty? Is my mind searching for real contentment within or searching for power, politics, authority, division, and so on? Then the thought came to me yesterday while walking, we speak of peace, 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 especially since time immemorial. The Vedic Rishis, they prayed for peace. There are hundreds of peace invocations. For the most beautiful peace invocation, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, let all be happy. When you speak of let all be happy, it includes everything 
everyone because all is on all inclusive we are living on this earth one earth one creation god created one earth we created many countries god is one we have many faiths many religions in the beginning beginning of creation all spoke one language the language of the heart now we have many languages and we know what is going on however today's theme is peace begins with me when i think of peace beginning with me again i am asking the question to myself and which is question to all of us can i be peaceful if my body is sick second question can i be peaceful if my mind is unhealthy can i be peaceful if there is too much of tension pressure anxiety fear with me can i be peaceful if there is somebody suffering in the family whether my husband or wife my father or the mother my brother or sister can i be peaceful if my neighbor is passing through difficulties and so on so real peace is possible when i look within and i found myself who really i am real peace is possible first bringing a way a path to have better health a body peaceful mind and perception of myself and my connection with others when i closed my eyes and look within at that time i am not the body i felt the breath the breath is going in and coming out those who have breath they all are living we have you know the understanding that we the humans are living but can you ever think that the animals birds plants everybody is living if i have the possibility or the opportunity to be in peace and right to live i should live in peace i should respect all living beings unfortunately we the humans we are not caring for human lives war destruction death and so on and what to speak of animals plants and trees and the mother earth however when i close my eyes and look within i find how my mind is how my attitude is and then slowly i transform myself my breath my circulation i change it through meditation then i look within who am i then i found myself not only i am i am with all i am in all i am one with all i felt with eyes closed when i opened my eyes i looked at the four corners of the wall nobody was there but i felt the air is there coolness of air is there i opened the window looked through the window i saw the plants are moving in cool breeze and the flowers are nodding their head i felt my oneness with the plants and flowers when i looked little bit more outside i saw the butterfly the bee going to the flower because of the wind again they are little bit separated again they are going to the flower 
I felt their love, love for the flower, love for creation. They do not go only for sucking honey for their livelihood. They also go for pollination and maintenance of life and creation on this earth and so on. My dear ones, we all are sitting here this beautiful evening and we all are searching for peace. But are we really on the path to find peace within? When I found peace within, I found love within. Peace and love are two sides of the same coin. When I am peaceful, my mind is peaceful, my breath is peaceful, my blood circulation is peaceful, my thoughts are peaceful, my words are peaceful, my look is peaceful, my work is peaceful, my work is also peaceful. When I, with that peace, calmness, sat with others, whether my family members, my colleagues, with that current of peace, there is flow of love. My dear ones, in this world of crisis, chaos, conflict, there is undercurrent of peace and love because God is. God is omnipresent. That love is omnipresent. Peace is omnipresent. Yes, storms are there. Cyclones are there. Hurricanes are there. Earthquake there. But they are not for a long time. Again, they subside. Then we come forward to rebuild and reconstruct. Similarly, we have to change our attitude to conclude my few words. I will tell a story. The story is a king was sick and he was suffering so much nobody could heal him. People from many countries, many places came to treat and heal him. Nothing helped. A sadhu came, a wandering monk or a fakir, who told, O king, you can be healed. There is one way, if you see everything blue. Poor king could not ask how to see everything blue. The sadhu left. And the thought was in him that I should see everything blue. So he first ordered, let this wall be painted as blue. It was done. Anybody who will come to me will put on all blue clothes. That is fine. But still then he could not see everything blue. Because the food is food. It has different color. Flowers have different color. How to make it? So he really became more agitated and restless. How to see everything blue? Fortunately, the same fakir or sadhu visited the king again after some time and the, at the gate, gate, the entrance, the gatekeeper told, you have to change your clothes to put on some blue gowns. Why? The king has ordered. Why the king ordered? Because some crazy monk or crazy sadhu has give, given this idea. Our king has become sick, from sick to crazy. He said, I am that monk. Let me go. He went to the king. King greeted him. How are you? He said, I am fine. But the, the thing is, you told to see everything blue. It is impossible. Then the monk or the fakir looked at the king and told, My child is very simple. He said, how is it simple? I am really tired. And He said, only put on a blue colored glass. If you have... A pair of glasses of blue color, you can see everything blue. It is very simple. You can't change anybody. You can change yourself. If I quote Paramahansa Yoganandji, who is a great master of our lineage, he said, by changing yourself, you have done enough, your own contribution in changing the world. In If I change this quote of Paramahansa Yoganandji, if I explore and find peace with and within me, I have done enough contribution to bring peace for the whole world. Because if I am peaceful, so out of suppose seven, eight billions, I don't know what is the population, from that minus one, I am peaceful. So each one, we should work on inner peace. 
our life should be peaceful our thoughts should be peaceful our words should be peaceful our walk should be peaceful our look should be peaceful our smile should be peaceful our life will be peaceful so if in a family one person is peaceful it will have its impact among the family members so if one changes many things changes so let us begin with this theme peace begins with me and it depends upon me i am to change myself or not to change myself it is at my hand that is why it is said the kingdom of heaven is at your hand so my loving ones again i give my love and gratitude to all of you and praying for the entire creation and praying to you also we should think that i am not just a living being every living being has the right to live every living being has the right to live just like i want to live if a mosquito is coming and sitting on my hand if i take my hand this way mosquito flies away because it wants to live it doesn't want to die all living beings have right to live we have to protect this creation by thinking deeper and acting accordingly i am grateful to this universal peace or federation vienna for organizing this program and i offer again at the end my deep love and regards to my own master who came to this city many decades ago and started kriya yoga center it was nearly 30 31 years ago and an ashram in tatendorf 20, 25 years ago which is going to be completing 25th year in few days so i offer my deep regards to my master and to all of you thank you all